Welcome back all my darlings. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen. Today I will be sharing a classic recipe. All of y'all will remember this one. Oh, well, almost all of you guys will remember this recipe. It's a classic school day street and it's called nothing other than stretch. Ah, who remember that? Going to school, buying stretcher. It was one of my favorites, okay? So um, I had numerous requests for this recipe. So I guess you guys love it just as much as you know i am loving it and i love it so i want to give big shout out i listen yeah like get old and she had to write down the name um big shout out to janetta janetta mohammed and ren braveheart big shout out to you guys for this recipe request so here we go let's prepare some delicious stretcher thank you for your love and support on the channel so your gal have in the pot i have here some sugar I'm using some water. I have here some cornstarch, some lime juice or lemon juice, salt, and of course some light corn syrup. Any brand um, is fine. So let's put this together. I'm gonna start off with my salt a little bit, you know, and everything I'm using will be listed in the description box below for your convenience. In goes the cornstarch. And I'm gonna go in with my lime juice and in goes our water our water our water and some of this corn light corn syrup so you want to mix this till it dissolves nice in here like the sugar grains dissolve and then we're going to take this over the stove and do the hard part because remember if you don't have this the right consistency you're going to just have a hot mess you know so i'm just going to measure this out drop it drop it in we go and life is good right so let's bring this over to the stove and finish off this delicious stretch out that's all you need that's all you need and you just need some muscle to stretch this thing out okay so let's get you guys you know some of your fats i go and see what you look like after everything mixed up right so this is what it's looking like you want to make sure you know all the sugar grains is mixed up nicely you know me like harass i love this on the channel huh? Mix it up and it's gonna come up to boil and we gotta just leave this thing for boil until it becomes the texture we're looking for. And of course, make a show you that texture too, right? Because that is the most important step when making any kind of candy with sugar. Okay, so see you guys back here. My roti pan, hey metawa, you can use your tawa too, you know, something to pour this out if you have a marble slab, you can pour it up on top of that. And I'm going in with a little butter. And we go grease up me pan, okay? Butter up my pan. Eyel it up. <laughs> so when our um, syrup is ready, our candy is ready, we're going to pour it here because we want it to cool down a little bit before we go in with the fingers and start bun up the fingers, you know. Uh, make sure you get additional butter because you're going to need that to pull and stretch and pull and stretch. Anytime you're working with sugar to make any sort of candy, the best thing to do it with is with a candy thermometer. You're always going to get good results, you know. But we know not everyone can afford a, tar a, you know, a candy thermometer or have one in hand. If you're using a candy thermometer, as soon as it gets to 255, you know you're in business, okay? You know the thing is ready. So, and another way to test it is grab a bowl with some water and you're going to grab some of this. So some of this syrup, hey? dash it in there and if you can pick it up and hold it like a ball and i can see that it's not ready ready yet as yet you can able pick it up and roll it up into a ball you know you're in action but it still get a little touch more to go you see you can pick it up you get a little bit more to go this get a little touch more it's still a little too sticky and you cannot pull it as you can see it got a little bit. It got to be like, you know, not so sticky and sticking up on your fingers. So it got a little bit more to go. But that's another way to test so it. Our thermometer read 255. That means it's ready. Look at that. When you pour it in the bowl in the water and it, you can see it like that, not sticky and it's stretchy and pulley. Life is good. We're going to go ahead and pour this mixture up. Go ahead and pour this on onto my grease tawa. I be careful. I know I'm gonna put your hand and thing, okay? Pour it out here. I'm gonna put a different color into this and I'm gonna do red, 
So I'm, I'm using like dry coloring. You can use the gel, you know, whatever you have and mix it in. You're not gonna see the colors vibrant as ever here because you know, metawa dark in color mix. But oh god, let me put plenty red and nice. You got on pink beat time, it don't stretch them. And as you can see, it's starting to cool down, meaning like it's picking up on the sides. You want to, you know, pick it up on the sides to um, cool it down where it comes to consistency that you can work with it. Throughout the process, you want to pick up the ends, bring it into the middle because as you can see, the ends are starting to get, um, you know, a little hard. So you want to bring it into the middle and spread this out so the middle can, you know, cool down. So it's going to come to a consistency about maybe you want to cool this down for a good five minutes, five to six minutes. So it's going to come to a consistency where you can pick it up and start working with it. Yes, with your fingers. This is why I mean, I make stretch because I know I go have like a bun up by your finger. But you know, anything that is sweet and nice and good, you got to, you know, put in the labor of love and get a little born. I'm just kidding. It's manageable. Are y'all ready for this? Yeah. Let me put a little butt on my hand and let's do this. I have my silicone mat down here. I'm going to try to get this off of here, scrape it off. And listen, dealing with sugar, it's a little messy, okay? So. I'm going to try to get it off. It's a little little let's say um warm yeah so i gotta try to get it here to my silicone mat i'm gonna go ahead and do that step transfer it over and then i'm gonna come back yeah so i put it here i get it here now we're going to start stretching this as you can see as it cools down it's not so sticky as how it was before so you're just gonna stretch your life away until it comes to that form consistency, you know, that it's holding up. Put your muscle in this thing and I you stretch, I you want stretch. And this is how I got make stretch. So you're stretching this thing until it lose most of its glossiness. And if you feel like it's getting too sticky, butter up your hand, buddy. Butter up it and go in and stretch. But for me, this is fun. I like to do this. And then we're gonna get our grease puff paper or our wax paper. You remember back in the days, they roll this thing up inside the grease puff paper. Yes. So, run it out and you stretch it. When it's like stretchy like this, it's not ready. You know, it gotta be a little firm and hold its consistency. So you know you gotta stretch, oh God. Me muscle body, me muscle body be nice and stiff and tight here. I like put me for walk. Me don't see how I like me on this channel. <laughs> so I'm going to stretch it until it gets to the consistency I'm looking for. And then I'm going to come back and show you how we cut it. And we roll it up in our um, wax paper, tissue paper, um, not tissue paper. What am I saying? I lose my mind. Um, wax paper or a big grease puff paper like they used to say in Ghana but look at that color nice vibrant color yeah yeah and as you can see it don't stick on the silicone mat which is nice so go ahead and work your okay, peeps so I went ahead and stretched my life away here my hand are hot to me so you know I stretched this really well and as you can see, when I rest it here, it's still holding its form, okay? So that's what you're looking for. Stretch it out. See that? Easily stretched out. And that's why it calls stretch up, right? Remember, I just put this thing in a stretch along, along in your mouth, yeah. So stretch it out and roll it out as thin as you like or as thick as you like and I cut up some of my grease puff paper for wrap them in so 
Look at that baby. I think that that's good thickness. So we're gonna cut it to the size we want and roll it up in the grease for paper. You wanna roll it up? Back in the days and life is good there. You can twirl the ends and you can store this in a container and you get, you know, it's gonna last for quite a bit. And you get, you get instant stretch all the way. You don't open your grease book paper and stretch away. So I'm gonna finish this up and I am going to come back. Well, I don't even know if I want to taste this for you, but let's see. If I wear dentures, be careful. Delicious. This is no healthy recipe, okay? So be mindful when you're eating it. Love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Hope you enjoy this recipe. See you soon with another delicious recipe. Atiana came home and we have her testing the stretcher. Go ahead. That's mommy's favorite school days thing. Yeah, that's how it is. You stretch it. You see why we call it stretcher? You can bite a piece out. You don't have to stretch it more. <laughs> you can bite a piece and tell me. What does it taste like? Anything over here candy? Toffee, toffee, toffee. You like it? What do you think? Ten, ten. Guess who that eat one here? Mama, I'm mama. Mmm. I'm mama that. More they eat stretcher by. Mmm. Look at that. Focus. Mm. It's good, right? The appetite is even better. Mmm. Go and kiss it. You see, you can do your own twirl magic with it. You can, you can do your own thing, you see? That's cool. Mm -hmm. You can twirl it up. It's my hair. <laughs> Make a necklace earring. Don't <laughs> put it next to your hair. It's stick there, it's a problem. <laughs> good earring. It's good, right? Mmm. I already heard how many. <laughs>